Hey everyone, I'm Aunt Carla, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a return to sender spell. Now, if you are new to my channel, you know that I kind of stay on more of the positive side of things. And some of you might subscribe to the rule of three law or the do what you will, but harm none rule. But what I want you to know that the longer you spend time in magical circles, both online and in, in, you know, in, in real life, you're going to learn that there are people who also use magic for negative, you know, for negative ways and to harm other people. And you want to at least know how to protect yourself if this should ever happen. Now, if you are practicing protection magic on a regular basis, you're doing your spiritual hygiene, you are you know, cleansing your aura, that will make you much less vulnerable. But you kind of want to know what you could do if anything should ever happen. And it's not necessarily likely that it will happen. But again, if you are following, if you are like working or around anyone who's kind of toxic and they're magical, it could, all, it could always happen that something could be sent your way. So you want to know what you can do. And what I like to teach is a return to sender spell. Now, again, this isn't for just random jealousy or like an evil eye kind of thing that you're returning to, to, you know, returning to the sender. This is about sending that negative energy back to whoever is sending you this, you know, this, this negative stuff. And by the way, this spell will work whether or not you know who sent it. The whole idea though, is that you're going to be creating a, a protective barrier around yourself so you could send it back to whoever sent it. Now, my personal, my personal feeling is I will never go out of my way to harm someone else, whether it's spiritually or magically, that's not my thing, that's not where I'm at. However, my personal rule is do no harm, but take no shit. And what that means is if you're gonna deliberately send negative energy my way, I have every right to send that shit right back to you. So this is what this is about, and I wanna teach you how to protect yourself and how to send it back if you ever need this kind of magic. Okay, so what you need, it's, very, it's a very simple spell, by the way. You need a black candle, a mirror, and some salt. That's it. So, by the way, we are using a black candle, and I'm being very specific about this. We often say that you can substitute a white candle for any color, and for most times, I'd say that's true. But for this particular spell, we want a black candle because the black, the color of this candle serves to absorb and repel that negative energy. So that's what you want. The mirror can be any kind of mirror. I just happened to get this one at a dollar store. Nothing special about it. It doesn't have to look cute. It's just a mirror that you can use in your magical working. So first I start with the mirror and I place salt in a circle. I'm gonna have the candle on the inside of the circle, but I'm gonna have a circle of salt around that. So I have some salt in a dish over here. So I'm gonna just sprinkle that. You can see what I'm doing. So I'm just sprinkling a circle of salt around the edge of the mirror. So we have this mirror and the mirror has salt. See, I think you could see that. See that circle of salt. We don't want to cover the whole mirror because the mirror is a very important part of the spell. Now, so we have this mirror, we have the salt circle. We're going to take our black candle and put it in the center. And that is the basic spell right there. You can use a, this is a chime candle. You can use a birthday candle if you have. You can also use like a seven day candle if you're really trying to bring out the big guns. It's totally up to you, but you don't have to use a large candle. But the idea is you want a black candle to send that, uh, to send that energy back. Now, 
what you do is you're going to light this black candle and you're going to recite an incantation. And that incantation is, I am rubber, you are glue. What you send to me returns to you. You might have heard that when you were a little kid in the playground and someone was saying things about you or saying things to you and you would kind of say that it's kind of funny, but that incantation works very well for this spell. So what you do is you recite that over and over until you feel your inner power return. I am rubber, you are glue. What you send to me returns to you. You say it over and over till you feel your, your inner power return. And when you start to feel yourself feeling powerful again, I want you to see yourself in your mind's eye using visualization to see yourself free of this negative energy that has been sent to you. You can imagine if you want like energy being repelled from you like a force field and you keep reciting this incantation and having this visualization until you feel really good again. And then you let that candle burn down all the way. If you're using a small candle, such as a black tea light candle or a black chime candle, it'll take about two hours to burn down. If you use a black birthday candle, it'll take about four minutes. But the idea is you want that candle to burn down all the way to do its work. Now, when your spell is done, when, when after the candle has burned down all the way, what you wanna do is throw the salt out somewhere away from your home. You do not want anything that's absorbed by the salt to be in your home. I'm not even talking about flushing it. Take it somewhere else, throw it away. And then you have your, take your mirror and I want you to cleanse your mirror. You can do that by Let's see, you can use like a ringing bell, you can run it through sacred incense, you can uh, spritz it with rue water or rosemary water. If you have, um, if you have Florida water, you can splish, you know, splash some or, or spritz that on there as well. The whole idea is you want to cleanse your mirror. And most importantly, after that, you want to cleanse yourself. You want to cleanse yourself of whatever negative energy was uh, was raised during this ritual. So you will take your you will take a, a cleansing bath. One of the baths that I, I normally recommend is one with rosemary, lemon, and salt. That's a basic spell that you can use for cleansing. And if you if you use uh, Bible Psalms, then you can also read uh, Psalm ninety one. Some people like to use that. Um, as a cleansing, uh, as, a, as a cleansing bath. If you have rue, the herb rue, you can use that in your bath. You can also use um, hyssop. Hyssop is definitely like an old timey um, cleansing herb. So, if, or soap if you have it. So the idea is you, after you do the spell, cleanse your mirror, cleanse yourself. Get rid of anything that is left over away from your home. And then you move on with your life. And that, my friends, is a return to sender spell. And I'm Aunt Carla. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>